Welcome to Elation, where we find exhilarating euphoria through collaboration and creation. We welcome you today. We want to talk to Josh today about what creates elation in his life. So what is the, the happiest thing in your life? What creates elation for you? Man, I got to say, the number one thing for me, it's all about food. Food? Oh, yeah, good well, you, food. You're in the right city for it. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. What's your favorite New Orleans food? Like New Orleans, like style food, like it's like a New Orleans classic kind of food, or, or like, just something you yeah. eat here, I guess. That's not like, a corporate chain. Oh man, because like I'll eat. There's so much good like up and coming food, like different pop ups and stuff like that. But like if I had to pick like a New Orleans classic, it would probably be like um, either um, a classic gumbo or red or uh, um, or a bread pudding. Gumbo, gumbo is my, one of my yeah. favorites. So you know the story behind gumbo, right? Gum. Gumbo and red beans and rice, mm -hmm. and it, it basically was created to feed a whole family of people mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. uh, inexpensively and mm -hmm. very cheaply mm -hmm. um, because it's, you know, not a – New Orleans, especially back in the day, mm -hmm. wasn't a place where a lot of money was, right. you know, was held. Yeah. So um, it uh, – but it really mm -hmm. is, is something for the whole family, mm -hmm. you know, and also mm -hmm. kind of started because you throw anything that's in your fridge – and make a gumbo. Oof. You, you know? Yeah. Somebody's got to throw me their fridge. You I, know what I'm saying? I mean, like, you get a good fridge in there. So. I, I, I've seen everything from duck and mushroom mm. to rabbit and oh, um, okay. uh, and beans. Wow. Like, like you that's know. Some serious um, gumbo. Yeah, you yeah. know, like, so they, it can go all yeah. full spectrum. Yeah. You know? Because that's the best kind of gumbo is when you get it, like, when you get it hot and fresh from, like, someone's, like, making it, like, in their kitchen, just, like, whipping up what they got. Oh, you know? I know. I know. Well, and most actual true New Orleanians will kill me for this because I like my chicken and, and andouille mm -hmm. sausage gumbo. Mm -hmm. I, oh, yeah. I, I think, oh, yeah. you know, as a local, they want to slap me in the back of the head. I should be eating the seafood. But. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I love a good, I think I love a good seafood just because, like, you know, seafood is just, it's got that extra, like, ticket price. It's got that extra, like pizzazz yeah you know? yeah, yeah but look, at the end of the day i mean the, the half a crab good, and the know? seafood is yeah, cool like, you know i mean like i mean some fancy you know? yeah absolutely but. so food wise where you're from what's your favorite back home back like you know where i'm like originally from it's mm -hmm. like because i'm originally from mobile so it kind of feels like a little bit like new orleans you know similar traditions okay. similar foods like i've been eating gumbo in mobile i mean it's a completely different style of gumbo you know people mm -hmm. throw things like okra and tomatoes in there you know they try to get a little something extra in there but um but i mean we were always eating gumbo but like if i was to say the thing that i remember most growing up it's like eating crawfish. Like I remember, like me and my parents, like we did that in Mobile. It's just like cra you know, peeling crawfish, and it was just like, you know, and, and me being like Korean, I was just like, oh, this has got that same Korean spice on it. And so anything that can like feed into my like spicy world, you know, that's like a winner for me. Nice. Right there, so. Is there any Korean food in New Orleans you found? I mean, listen, like, <laughs> we don't talk about that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it, you know, there's a strong Vietnamese connection, but, you know, it's just yeah. like what we're missing is that, you know, that uh, it, just that extra Korean love, I'd say. I mean, the best place that I always tell people is like the best place you're going to find Korean food is at Korean church because like they have Korean churches. And, you know, oh. if you're Korean, you go in there and cook. So I haven't been to a Korean wedding, but a Vietnamese wedding that I mm. went to had some of the best food I've oh, ever been bet. to. I mean, it was mm. crazy. Yeah. I, the spread was nuts. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. You know, they, they throw down. Yeah. So I can, it's probably oh, yeah. similar, I'm oh, sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, and, you know, this is like more like, you know, obviously that's like lavish, you know, like Korean church, it's like every week. So it's like right. moms just get together in a kitchen. They just make up some like, basically like, like, a, a, like a smorgasbord meal for everybody after church. So it's like, you're like, you're still eating good. Right. I mean, but that obviously is on a whole nother level. <laughs> I mean, also there's just so much good Vietnamese food and it just keeps popping up. Like, right. It's just crazy yeah. how good it is, you know. Yeah, I hear you. There, there definitely is a lot of Vietnamese um, here. You know, they, they do a lot of, in the shrimping industry mm -hmm. down here. They're, yeah. There are a lot yeah, of the shrimpers. Yeah. 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 Um, but, okay, well, speaking about food, uh, there was something recently about um, one of the new Saints players was talking about beignets. Um, beignets. And, and saying that he was not impressed and that he compared him and just said Wait, they're just. Was like a new Saints player? Yeah, it's a new guy. Like, they he's, signed he's not from the Saints. J Jamal Williams. They signed him. Oh, um, and he's on okay. the practice. Okay. Not on the practice, but he's on the, you know, mm -hmm. the new team right mm -hmm. now. Um, and his whole thing was he's saying beignets are basically just funnel cakes. Oh shit! I, oh man, that's like that's some those are some fighting words. That's what I thought when I heard wow, that. Damn. So what's your thoughts on Dang, that, man? I mean, like you know, it's crazy because like 
like you know you can't just like diminish someone's culture like that i mean know? i you know. know it's just like coming out the gate swinging i mean i i feel like you know a beignet is like is it's more than that because it's like it's like a pocket of like it's you know you get a funnel cake it's just like almost too much beignet is mm. like the perfect amount you know right. you get the just the bite you need in your mouth right at the time you need it so right. it's just perfect well know? and you always get to play scarface afterwards you yeah know? exactly you know <laughs> it's like don't wear what i'm wearing you know? it's all, you're yeah, all black you're I having a bad time just have know? a face full of white yeah. you know yeah but do you feel like he said that though to like you know to be controversial because i feel like sometimes people like in sports these days like they're trying to be almost like you know like a personality maybe but. maybe maybe he's just dug in the trenches of his own mm-hmm. like uh, maybe maybe mm-hmm. funnel cakes are big where he comes from and he's just like all right this oh, ain't man, nothing but a funnel think, cake you, oh you thought he said it was like almost like a compliment or something well like, well know. no no it's like almost like like ah this i've had this my whole uh, life there's nothing but a yeah, funnel yeah, cake yeah, okay, okay you know yeah. Yeah, I get that. But it's different. Yeah. It's like somebody yeah. calling a slushy yeah. a snowball. Like, yeah. It's not the same. Oof, that'd be another one. I mean, I think you're probably catching what he's going to say next. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, then, yeah. yeah. If he says that, yeah. he might have to get cut. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. There's going to be a mob outside. Yeah, he might have to get here. cut if he says yeah, that that's one. That's pretty wild. Man. Yeah. Well, I didn't even know that. I, um, well, talk about current events. Uh, have, you, have you heard anything about this Wayne Brady situation that's going on? There's a Wayne Brady situation? I know. I hadn't heard what? from him in a while. He's like one of those guys that just comes, comes up out of nowhere. You know, it's like it's like one minute you hear about him, and the next thing he's gone for like for a long time period. You know? Well, the price is right, you know, yeah. and I guess that that's, his, that's his new what, thing. So but, what's, what's well, the happened? new thing is he's coming out and saying that he's pansexual. Wait, he's what now? That's what was my thought. What pansexual? Like he's just now coming out. About just it? said it. But pan. But what? I feel like he's. I mean, like he's been in the industry for that this long. You know. I I it's agree. Like, but what is pansexual? I mean, uh, that that is where I was coming from yeah. because it's like, well, how, uh, what, are, how many terms do we come up with for mm, sexuality that mm-hmm. are just extra for no reason? Mm. Like, yeah. are you just trying to get attention? Yeah. Well, I mean, for me. That's a funny thing, because, like, I also just, like, you know, it's, like, it's one of those words where you're just kind of, like, oh, yeah, I know what that means. And then you're, like, so what does that mean? I'm right. Like, oh, shit. Dive into uh, it. I don't know. So I don't know. So I, no, I, I looked. So I, go to the dictionary. so I looked it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, lo- I, had to lo- I had to look it up. I had to look it up. Yeah. And what? And all I could get from it is it's basically bisexual. Oh. And, and, or, excuse me, it's trisexual, in a oh. sense. Because it means you'll try anything. It does, oh. You don't. You don't look at anyone as a sexual person. You look wow. at them all as a being, and you could be sexually attracted to anybody. Wow. Okay. Now, that's, I mean, that's reasonable. I and guess, and I know? guess it's an older term. It came yeah. from like the early 1900s. Really? But no one has said it for so long. <laughs> that's crazy. It, it, it's from the 1900s, and it feels like it just popped up. I know, right? Yeah. But uh, but for me, it's like, okay, well, why can't we just say trisexual? Like, yeah. why can't we just be like, what? Yeah. Well, actually, really, it's bisexual because there isn't only two genders. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. you know, there is what it is. Yeah. There's only two genders. You can make whatever genders you want yeah. a- after that, but yeah. there's only two natural genders. Right. So, bisexual. Mm-hmm. I, both people. Mm-hmm. Why do we have to go any further? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't know. You know, I mean, that's a good question. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, I feel like people can just say whatever they want about whoever they are and whatever they want, whoever they want to see and be with, you know. It doesn't matter to me. No, it doesn't matter to but me, but just I just like, feel like I feel like they keep making these celebrities keep making these terms to get in the algorithm and create some controversy. <laughs> you think that's what he's, he's I, I, doing? No, I mean, I, like, you how know. Did, how did this even come It's just beat, weird to know? me that I, like, I, I don't need to go out and say I'm heterosexual yeah. to, on on like tape to make yeah. myself known. Like, yeah. I, who cares? Who yeah. gives a shit? I yeah. don't care yeah. what he likes. Yeah, but I mean, but but it's just funny that yeah. these terms, in my opinion, yeah. are just funny. Yeah, well, that's always the thing I think about it too, is because like I don't ever like keep track of celebrities like that. Like I like you know, it's just like when all this stuff comes out. So it's kind of like. I, you're already like preaching the choir. It's like I don't really care, you know, what the celebrity does. But at the same time, you know, we're talking about it. Yeah, like, yeah, you know what I was saying. Yeah, I it's guess a it good worked. Talking point, you know? It worked. You, you know, know? So. it worked. But you know, it, it's it's. I mean, it's. I guess it didn't beat out Barbie talk this whole couple weeks, though. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean that's all I've ever heard. I, nonstop. I just, One way or the other. You I, know, she's the highest grossing. Uh, that's the highest grossing uh, female director of all time now. Is Greta Gerwig. Kind of a layup. Yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. like, you know, like, uh, great, yeah. good for her, yeah. but they gave her the Barbie movie. 
Like, I mean, you know, I mean, it's like a perfect like, storm. Like man. she didn't like direct like Fast and Furious. Like, you know, like you gave a girl the Barbie movie. Yeah. She's going to kill it. You yeah. know, and, not, and I'm not knocking her in yeah. any sense because, she, you know, I hadn't seen it. Mm. My wife's seen it. Mm. Oh, what she think? Not a fan. Really? Not a fan. Wow. No. I've heard, like, I've all seen, uh, most of the women I've talked to said they, like, it was, like, the best thing ever. Not a fan. Wow. Just, but I can't see, she, I can't say she's a great, like, moviegoer. So, mm. like, you know, mm. maybe not a great testament yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, but, yeah. but she wasn't really a fan, and mm. she's that era, I think, mm. of, you know, age range they were mm. really going for. Yeah. Because it wasn't a kid movie. Yeah. Oh, it, no. It, it was it, not, it's not, like, I mean, like. It definitely feels like there's a layer of it that kids can watch and enjoy, but it's definitely a movie that's like for like there's a lot of adult humor. In right. It, you well, know? I think the overall sense of it is they had yeah. to make it feel like you were a kid again yeah. watching it, yeah. but the jokes in it were for yeah the thirty you know yeah. uh, upper twenties and mid thirties yeah. probably oh, yeah, jokes definitely. definitely. There was like a whole beach off section where everybody's trying to beat where all the where all the cans are trying to beach each other off. So it's like you can uh, you can imagine where that goes. Wow. You know? Okay. So, I'm so glad. I, alert, I'm so glad I haven't seen the movie. Yeah. Wow. But all right. Well, yes. That's not even the best part though. There's I'm, some other better. I'm, parts, I'm but, yeah. sure there are, but you know, it's just it's. Uh, I'm I'm happy for her. You know, Greta. Mm-hmm. She did. I'm, she, I'm sure oh, she yeah. did a great job. Um, yeah. But once again, I feel like we continue to reach to. M- prop people up for reasons that they shouldn't be propped up. Mm. Like, in my opinion, if we were all equal people, Mm -hmm. it wouldn't matter she's a woman. Mm -hmm. It's the highest grossing film of this year. It's the highest grossing film since Mm -hmm. Top Gun, probably, and might be even outgrossing Top Mm -hmm. Gun. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't even matter the fact that she's a woman. Mm -hmm. You know, if we all were equal, we wouldn't even mention it. And it's the same, I feel like, in sexuality. Like, Mm -hmm. if we were truly equal, it wouldn't matter that Mm -hmm. we have um, uh, the press secretary that's a lesbian, Mm -hmm. black, Mm -hmm. and immigrant. Mm -hmm. Like, how many boxes you want to check? You know, like, like it it shouldn't matter. If you're Mm -hmm. good at your job, Mm -hmm. do what you do. I guess, yeah, I mean, I, from what I've experienced or, or what I've been, like, you know, and by far, I'm not, like, you know, the uh, arbiter of knowing all these things, but... Well, um, you are here today talking to relations, yeah, so we have you here for a reason. Saying, you know, you know, I thought but, you would uh, answer my questions. Yeah, well, that's, that's why I have I, you here. Whew, you know, <laughs> we're, we're talking about, you know, women's issues here. It's like, oh, you know, Josh is getting, getting in the hot seat. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, but what I would say is, like, I think, you know, to you, to you, what you're saying is, is I think that, like, the reason why, especially Greta is being championed is because you know because women haven't broken the th- the threshold that men have broken yet and so right. like you know because things aren't equal yet that like you know championing someone like her is good for the sake and of, I, I get that you know society is to say like women can do it and to like to for this to be the first woman to break a billion like that's a big deal right and like we should you know you know probably give her more praise now because we want other women to feel like they can be directors too absolutely you know? and so you know i think that's where the, a lot of that's coming from and hopefully that doesn't get misconstrued in any way but yeah well i mean i know my woman in my life directs the hell out of me, yeah. so they should be uh, really yeah, good yeah, at directing. Yeah. That's all oh, I know. Well, I mean, yeah. you know, I, that's she that's, says that's something you, I listen. You know, she says something I, I listen. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, you know, hey, you, and as then long as you got your marching orders, you know, yeah, you know, you know. You know what pants to wear in the morning. You're you're ready to rock and roll. You know, <laughs> and then, well, good man. I think that's a. Uh, I think that's a good talk for today, yeah, man. I know, appreciate little, you coming through. You know? Absolutely. Hey, man, I walk right in here. I sit right down. We have that chat. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah. Great. Well, thanks, guys, for listening. And I hope some of this brings elation to your life tonight.